Today I wanted to talk um, about a mechanic from Tamkinch that I don't think uh, that many people know about. I mean, it is within his description, but I feel like a lot of people uh, kind of ignore it. Um, so if uh, Tamkinch devours a unit, then he will spit out a random component they were holding or the cost of the unit in gold. Uh, and if he ends up not killing them, he will spit them uh, away. You probably have seen this. I feel like uh, a lot of people forget about this mechanic existing, uh, existing and if you pay attention towards this then you can actually abuse this to get specific items and in some cases uh, this can be a pretty big deal. Uh, I have four examples for you and uh, just to showcase why it matters what you do with your Tamkench. So we assume this is a pretty strong Tamkench and he's capable of killing uh, the first unit that, that he will eat uh, at the start of the fight. and. Depending on where I place my Tamkench, this can have a, a considerable influence on what I will receive. First up is Ilawi. Ilawi has a mutant emblem, and a mutant emblem is uh, something called that's a, a craftable emblem. It's built out of a spatula and a cloak. Um, this means that if Tamkench ends up eating and killing Ilawi, then the item that he will spit out will be a spatula or a cloak. So if you're looking to build a force of nature because you have a spatula um, somewhere, you know, like you have a spatula on your bench and then what you should be uh, doing is you should check out where the opponent has spatula items, especially craftable spatula items. And this way you have a 50-50 chance of getting a spatula, which then in return will give you a force of nature or a tactician's crown, I guess it's called now. Um, Probably the first question you have is, well, what 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 if <laughs> what about other emblems? Well, the thing is, like these, for example, the clockwork emblem, these are called elusive emblems, and they're not craftable. You can only get them from stuff like Tome of Trades or the Carousel or Augments, etc. And these emblems, these elusive emblems, they count as not having any items at all. Meaning, if Zack will, if Tamkinchi will eat this Zack, then he will spit out gold. If this is the only item that Zack is holding. So yeah, this is the same as him having no items. Um, here we have a pretty simple example. If uh, if he eats the Sejuani, then uh, he will one he will have a one hundred percent chance of spitting out the chain vest if he ends up eating the Sejuani, and if he eats the Vi and kills her, he will have a fifty fifty chance between spitting out a belt and a chain vest. Um, just to summarize, if you're in a position where you have the luxury of being able to position the Tamkinch any way you want, because you're fairly confident you're going to win your fight, uh, check out your opponents and position Tamkinch in a way that might allow you to farm specific items that will increase the chance of you winning the game. Uh, that was it for me today. See you guys the next time.